Hey, what's up, everybody? So I want to show you this cut right here and then talk about maybe a couple of different ways you can use some Avid effects to make more of a moment. So I'm going to play down this. That's great. Well, Ashley finally find her baby's father today. What's going to happen, Ashley? So think of it like a movie trailer type promo thing. You have this music build up here. The VO is saying, you know, will she find the father of her baby today? And then it cuts to a sound effect and a little bit of like an ambience drone type music. And then there's another bite. So in theory, going to black right here, I'm going to play it down again. Will Ashley finally find her baby's father today? What's going to happen, Ashley? It's not terrible going to black. Think about even a lot of movie promo trailers on uh, HBO Max and stuff like that. They probably would just go to black. But, you know, for a lot of people working in corporate reality, lash and trash, some people want more than just that. Some people don't feel like that's enough producing wise. Whether they're right or wrong is kind of subjective. But here's a couple of different ways I'm going to show you using Avid Effects only to make a little bit more of a moment here than just cutting to black. So the first one, V1, obviously we just saw it straight, it cuts to black. So what I did was on V2, I started to make ad edits. So I don't know, even know, know exactly, one, two, three frames, something like that. It doesn't really matter if the ad edit is, is on the exact last frame because it's going to go to black anyway. And the first thing I did was, and this is on V2, I added a blend, a 3D warp effect. If I step underneath this other effect. And what I did was I just blew the image up. I just dragged it forward. So you get this now, this jump cut, where in one frame the image just jumps forward at the screen for the last two frames of the cut before it goes to black. And then what I did was I took the image color effect, not color correction. I alt dragged this color effect on it and just took out the saturation and did some contrast and some brightness stuff. You probably could do it in color correction mode, just a little quicker. And so now what I have here is this last two, three frames, it just jumps forward and it turns black and white and I'm already getting this. Today. Ashley finally find her baby's father today. The key part to make this a little bit more dramatic, whatever you wanna call it, is on V3, what I did was made ad edits and I dropped in a color effect, not a color correction. The color effect, I did that because I can set keyframe parameters. What I did here, let's see what I did. And this is really subjective. I'm not going to give you any specific things. I made this in a couple of seconds or whatever. But one is, yeah, this solarize I uh, used. I messed with the white point. I messed with the gamma. Now it has this like ghost. I want to say like a kind of like a cheap glow effect maybe. And so when I play it down, let's see this. Will Ashley finally find her baby's father today? What's going to happen, Ashley? I don't know. It gives you a little bit more of that horror trailer look, right? You have one frame where it's just colored solarized. Then it turns black and white. It blew up on a jump cut and it even went up to full white in that last frame. It strobes. It like probably ghosts in your eyes a little bit. So I'll play it again. Will Ashley finally find her baby's father today? What's going to happen, Ashley? Again, gives it a little more of a moment, right? Maybe the producer thinks, wow, he's really working hard. <laughs> As opposed to just doing a straight cut to black. And the producer thinks you're not working hard enough or something. I don't know. So that's one way to do it. I call it a quick little blow up. Do the white solarized gamma, something like that. Kind of fake, fake glow effect. Today. The other way I'm going to do it was an awesome way. An editor I used to work with named Rizzo did this probably like 15 years ago, and it still works really well, right? It just makes you think like good effects are timeless, right? So the same thing here. What happened was instead of just making an ad edit and making the last two frames black or whatever, what we did is you will freeze frame this last cut to make it go to freeze. It obviously it'll work better if you have more movement to it, but there's enough movement, I guess, here. And then you, you freeze frame it. I have that awesome one minute video showing you this quickest way to make a freeze frame. And now on V1, I have the freeze frame and it just it's just a color effect taking out the saturation. And you could go to color correction and probably make it a little more interesting. But for these purposes, it just go it just I'm just in making it black and white and having to dissolve it in a second. So the top layer is again, kind of that fake glow thing. And now with the dissolve on the back, you have more of this. Okay. Will Ashley finally find her baby's father today? What's gonna happen, Ashley? 
right? So you have this like almost like a photo old school photographer where the image is seen really bright for a second and then it dissolves to black. And her baby's father today. What's going to happen, Ashley? And I'm even looking at this cut right now. This actually could be even held even longer, right? Make it more of a dramatic moment. You could make it two seconds, make it a 60 frame dissolve, and it's probably going to be a little more dramatic. So that's it. Those are the two moments that I thought were just something you could put in your toolbox, something you can use in your arsenal. Again, you work at certain places and they'll, they'll be like, right, we don't use those cheap, lame effects here. It's very possible too. Uh, but one other thing I want to point out, I'm on this home computer, but when I do these at work, instead of this fake Avid Glow using a color effect, I will use... And which one is this one? I will use more of a Boris or Sapphire type glow. And see, this glow has a, m a little more interesting to it, the verticalness of it. And let's see if I play it here. Finally find her baby's father today. Again, a little more high-end, a little more professional. I'm even thinking now, this one's not so great. I would play it more so his face is not so white and you'd have the even more vertical on it. And the other one, like I said, too that I showed you, the second one we showed you before, much more of a cool glow pop to it, and then a dissolve. Your baby's father today. What's gonna happen, Ashley? So, I don't know, two, two quick, interesting ways to make a moment out of a cut. I hope that was helpful, and if you know people interested in learning Avid, tell them that the new course using the 2021 version will be out on June 15th, 2021. That's June 15th, 2021. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.